right, so I'm at home today, and you know what? I figured what I'm going to do is I'm going to correct my mistake that I made when I handed out my flyers for the first time. Yep, you guessed it. I'm going to hand out some more on the first day of spring. In fact, right here, as you can see, here are the flyers. I got a whole bag of them right here, and I put them in my John Deere bag. You know what I'm saying? You got to have at least a long carolated bag to look more professional. I don't have a recal yet, so that'll work. You make sure you make a good first impression. Get a fresh shirt on. Maybe if you have your recal on it, that'll work. Or maybe a, maybe a hat or do your hair up nice. Whatever you got to do, make a good first impression. Show up fresh. Look professional. This haircut illustrates the best. Look at that. Sir, my name is Jacob Sullivan, owner and operator of JTLK's Lawn Service. I've been mowing lawns in the area for about four to five years now. I'm wondering if you're interested in getting your lawn cut this season. So I'm concluding my flyer mission for tonight, and just to remind myself, this is where I'm at. This house right here, I'm gonna get it when I come back out on Wednesday. Two days later, I'm going out to hand out more, so let me explain a little bit. So, the reason I'm out here handing these out again, and I know some of you are probably wondering why, is because in the video, it's, it's where I put them. I put them in the mailboxes. A lot of you guys have been getting on me in the comments saying that's pretty much breaking a law. So what I'm doing is I'm going all around throughout the houses, right? All the different houses, like you see, I still got a block there and then a couple blocks up there and I'll be done. Like, so I've got about maybe two thirds of the neighborhood done already. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm correcting my mistake while I still have the chance. And the best time to do it would be right now, right when the temperatures are starting to rise. I mean, today it feels a little bit colder than it did two days ago, but it's it's good to get them out right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm pretty sure once spring break gets here, people are going to be going out of town. They're going to be looking for somebody to come work for them, and that's where they'll probably call me. You guys know that what I happen to do with my flyers is I take them right to the front door and I just stick them right through the door. So the customer could just pull them right through on the other end. Now there are some risks involved with that. You want to make sure that you don't get caught. I know because it just happened to me a few days ago. I was out handing out the first batch. A guy, a, he wasn't very happy about it either. He was like, "Okay, I understand you're giving me a flyer, but don't do that again. Don't stick it in the door." You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure you don't get caught. That's one of the risks about storm doors. So when it comes to a house with storm doors, normally what I'll do is I'll just go up to the door, and knock, and be like, "Hi, my name is Jake. I run this lawn business. Do you need any work done? Something like that." Just be polite, be professional, and maybe you'll get lucky. So that pretty much concludes this week's update. Just want to show you guys that I'm trying my best to correct some of my flaws I've done this season and probably in the past too. I don't recommend you put your flyers in a mailbox because again, it's against a federal law. And you know, just a lot of bad things can go on. The mailman can come by and they can also, you know, take the flyers out because they don't have a stamp on them or anything. So if you can, just stay away from the mailboxes. Stay more toward the houses, anywhere where the customer will get it. And with that, I'm Jake the Lawn Kid. Thank you for watching. Do not break the law. I'll see you guys next week. Before I go, there's one thing I want to show you. Check this out. Surprise! Look at that. This is my new play toy right here. Really psyched. I haven't been able to use it yet because I've been very busy, but I'm really looking forward to putting it through its paces.